Hey guys, hello, what is up? I have a video for you guys that I have been, I already tried filming once, it did not work. I will put some of that footage later in this video. Ooh, it was not cute. So I got the necessities that I need to film this video and I'm excited to bring it to you today. It is going to finally be my lip swatches and hand swatches and overall thoughts of the LA Colors Matte Liquid Long Wear Lipsticks. So I have it in five different colors, which is the whole range that was being carried at the Dollar Tree. So In the Mood, Kiss Kiss, Date Night, Don't Tell, and Affair to Remember. Um, they're all pretty dark. They're not, I mean, these two are like the most springy uh, colors that they came out with. But like the two on the outside, like this one, this one, and this one are on the much darker vampier side so i'm kind of surprised that they came out with these during the springtime when like these two are really the only springy ones um and before when i swatched these these two were really hard to distinguish between the two when i once i had them swatched next to each other what i'm gonna do is try to start out with the lightest and then go darkest and then i will be taking the darkest off and then be wearing hopefully the lightest one um, for the rest of the day today up until after dinner. And then after dinner I have another thing that I need to do so I'm going to have to take it off my mouth. But up until that point I will be um, keeping track of how it lasts. And I'll do kind of like a before right when I put it on. And then I'll check in with you guys at the end of the night and show you the after and how long the like wear lasted, what it lasted through and everything. So, looking at this, um, this one does look like it has gold shimmer to it, um, and this one does not. So, I want to say that's the only, like, difference between these two, even though they're kind of showing up different. Let me go ahead and do some hand swatches for you. So, this is Kiss Kiss. I really like the packaging. The packaging is nice. It's just a doe foot applicator, like, nothing too special. So, I'm going to do Kiss Kiss right at the top. And this was the one that in the packaging, it looks like it has gold shimmery flecks to it. But once it's on, truthfully, it really, I don't see them anymore. So I don't know what that is about. This one is Kiss Don't Tell. They gave them names so close to each other. This one is just like one shade darker. So this one, see what I mean by they're like very similar? This one is Kiss Don't Tell and this one is Kiss Kiss. Next we have like a brown and this one is a fair to remember. This one reminds me of like a Kim Kardashian or like Courtney, Chloe, Kendall, Kylie color. So this one is a fair to remember. It's like a nudie brown but it's kind of like a deeper color. And then we have In the Mood, and it looks like a vampy red in the packaging. And then once you swatch it, that is what it looks like on the hand. And then the last one is Date Night, and this one is just like a pinky purple. Date night, like one pass is kind of patchy, so I'm going to do another pass on top of it. Ooh, much better. So then, and this one is date night. So that is all of them swatched on my hand. The last time I swatched these on my hand, they were very, very hard to get off, but they are drying as we speak right now, and as they dry, they are becoming pretty dang matte. So I think I'm going to wear this one today. Not the so Barbie pink one, but like the hue a little bit darker than that. Um, but I am going to swatch all of these on my lips. So I'm going to start out with what I think is the lightest one, which is Kiss Kiss. So my lips aren't too dry today, which is a good thing, but they'll probably be dry after this. So I'm going to go ahead and put Kiss Kiss on the lips and then I will get back with you guys. So this is Kiss Kiss on the lips. Does it look similar to the color in the bottle? I think so. I would say that this one truthfully didn't go on too bad. Um, it's not patchy or anything. I think it looks decently good. Um, what I did notice the first time that I tried these 
is they go from like sticky to matte to sticky to matte back and forth quite a bit, which I don't understand why that happens. Um, once they set, they aren't like set matte, like they don't budge. So I don't know if like as they heat up on your lips, like they turn back into almost like a liquid. Not sure. And this is the fun part, getting to see if I can get it off. Last time did not turn out good. So I'm just going to put a dab and I'm going to take a regular makeup wipe and still, still even with coconut oil, it does not want to come off. Let's see. It is still all over my lips. What's crazy is I'm having the worst time getting this crap off. And this is what ha happened last time. Okay, so I now have a kiss kiss completely off my lips. And this is what happened to my lips last time. This is them back to their natural state, but this isn't my natural lip color. So I'm really unsure if I'm allergic to these or what is going on with these lipsticks on my mouth. I can't remember any of my other liquid longwear lipsticks doing this. And I do have like a bunch of liquid longwear lipsticks that I absolutely adore. Like the Kat Von D liquid lipstick. It's in the color Lolita. It's her ever everlasting liquid lipstick. And this literally is everlasting. It stays on for freaking ever. Um, but the last time I tried these, it did give me kind of like Kylie Jenner lips after I took it off. So we're just going to keep trekking along and let's just hope by the end of this, you know, my lips aren't huge and gross looking. So now I'm going to put Kiss Don't Tell on my lips and I will get back with you once it is on. So this is Kiss Don't Tell on my lips and truthfully, I do like this color better than the Kiss Kiss color. Um, I just feel like, even though this is just a hue different, I feel like it's a little bit more wearable. This is after taking the second color off my lips. I am so sorry, guys. This is the second time I've tried to film this, but I don't know if I'm allergic to this. I haven't seen anyone else do any kind of lip swatches with these, but I'm sorry, but all you're gonna be able to get is those two lip swatches. These irritate my lips so freaking much and I've never had anything do this before. I really thought that the reason that my lips turned all weird this last time was because I didn't have the correct um, stuff to get it off my lips, but come to find out, it does it both times no matter what I use to take it off with. So I don't know if People have had the same reaction or if it's just maybe something in this that I does not sit well with my body, my skin, my lips, um, but I wouldn't waste your dollar on these. I don't think that the colors are too cute. Um, they do, I would say, I don't know, I'm so conflicted about these because like I said, they do go from like the matte to sticky back and forth like I mentioned. Um, they do dry matte and they will stay on my hand for probably the rest of today. I'll leave this on and see how long it stays on. Um, that's about the long wear I can test for you guys, but my lips are screaming right now. I have never had this kind of thing happen before with any other kind of lipstick, but this is the second time it's happened now that I've tried to do these lip swatches twice. So, sorry that I can't do any more lip swatches and I'm definitely not going to wear these for the rest of the day. It irritates my lips so freaking much. But what I can tell you guys is that I did pick up some other LA Colors makeup and I picked up the eyeshadow palettes that they have out right now. So I got one in Beauty, I got one in Calm, one in Joy, and one in Peace. And I will definitely do um, swatches and eye looks out of those for you guys because currently this one is super rough looking 
but the LA Colors eyeshadow in the nude palette, that is what I use every day for my eyes and I absolutely love it. So that's why I picked up all four of these because I figured if it's the same kind of formulation as the nude palette that I'd be doing real good. And I also picked up LA Colors has some ultimate liquid eyeliners that they just came out with. So I got one in dark blue, teal, purple, and black. So I'll also be trying those out soon. Let me know down below if you've picked up these lipsticks and what you thought of them. I am so sorry that this video did not go as planned and that it took so long to make and me thinking that like I could be able to make it later down the road. But it does not sit well with my body. So I'm sorry again and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Date on these. I just did dishes in super scalding hot water and they didn't budge. So if you're looking for that. Okay, wow, it's very hard to get off too. Wow, okay. Oh my god, this is so gross. I've never had lipsticks that are like this. Oh my god. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allergic to this. I have tried on a crap ton of lipsticks in my day and none of them have ever done this to my lips. My lips feel like they're burning and they hurt really fucking bad. Oh. What the frick? Oh my god, my lips hurt so freaking bad. Like, my lips look purple right now. Oh my god. I look like I have Kylie Jenner lips. Like, they're, like, getting big. Yeah. Like, my lips are swelling. <laughs> and they're really hot feeling, too.